Good afternoon and welcome back to the Alameda Free Library where today on Maker Monday we're going to learn how to make toilet paper roll pets. So what I have here is I made a toilet paper roll puppy dog. He's got his paws and his tail and his ears and he's very excited. So let's learn how to make him. For this craft you'll need a regular toilet paper tube a glue stick or regular white school glue, pencil, scissors, a marker. It can be, it doesn't have to be a Sharpie. It can be a washable marker. Two pieces of paper. Colors are your choice. And you can either draw on your eyeballs or I have some googly eyes I'm going to be using. So first, what we're going to start with is we're going to clean off our workstation and I'm just going to leave out my pencil, my toilet paper tube, and the colored paper that's going to be the body of my puppy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to place the toilet paper tube on my paper and I'm going to roll it against it so I can see how much I need to cover my tube. So you're gonna roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it until the edge touches the paper. See that? Then I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna put it against the toilet paper tube and I'm gonna draw, oh, I'm gonna draw a line this way and a line this way. It's okay if your line isn't perfect. We did it a little bit over, so it's gonna wrap and anything that isn't perfectly straight will be folded over, you won't see it. So now you're gonna take your paper and your scissors, carefully cutting away from you. You're gonna cut off this end piece. And even though we're gonna cut it off, we're gonna save that because we're actually gonna use this for the tail and the paws, so don't throw it away. Let's just move it to the side for now. We'll come back to it. <clears throat> Next, we're going to put our tube back on and we're going to see how much we should cut off this way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smaller mark and then I'm going to roll my tube a little bit make another small mark and roll my tube a little bit now I'm gonna make a third small mark just like that then you can take your paper that you just cut off earlier line it up kind of use it as a ruler and now we can cut off this portion again careful cutting make sure the scissors are going away from you Watch your fingers. Perfect. Again, move those two pieces away. Now we're going to get our glue stick and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the one end. Let's get our toilet paper roll and that should fit very nicely in there. And we're going to seal that and then roll it into our paper. And then at the end, we're going to get some more glue. Finish rolling it up. And just like I said, it's going to cover and overlap. So if you have a crooked cut, don't worry. Okay. So now that we have the body of our puppy done, we're gonna work on his ears. Now his ears, I just cut out two half long oval shapes out of a different color paper. I have a brown paper here. It's a scrap paper. You don't need a whole big paper. There's no need to waste it. If you have scrap paper, that's perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my paper because again, I don't need all of it. And 
And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to use the folded side right here as my flat edge. And I'm just going to draw a long oval with one side that's flat instead of making it all curved. And then when I cut it out, since I folded it, I'll have two when I cut it in half. So I'm going to draw a line down, curve, and go back up. See? Now I'm going to grab my scissors again. Carefully, I'm going to cut it out. Now, right now, because we cut it on a fold, our ears are attached. At this point, I like to put it against my puppy and see, do I like how that looks? Is that where I want my ears to land? Are they long enough? Are they short enough? Are they the right shape? And I do kind of like them. So I'm going to leave them exactly how they are. And I'm going to open it up. And now I'm going to cut on this folded line. So instead of having one, I will have two ears. Because everyone knows puppies have two ears. Not one weird one. Ta-da! Okay. Now we're going to take our ears. And I'm going to put some glue on the top. And I'm going to put one on this side. One cute puppy ear. And then we're going to take the other one. And again, put glue on the top. And we're going to put this on the other side. Okay, so now we have our doggy body and his ears. Okay, next we're gonna cut out his tail. So from one of your scrap papers, and you could do it if you wanted to do it from your, um, the same as your ears, you absolutely can. You wanna do it the same as your body, you can. This is your puppy, whatever color his fur is, completely up to you. I'm gonna stick with the color of my body because I have more paper in that color. So all I'm going to do is draw a line that kind of curves and comes to a point. And then I'm going to trace back. Now I'm not a great artist. In my mind, that didn't come out exactly how I wanted. I pictured it differently. So we're going to erase it. And you can always try it again. That's a little better. Now, I'm going to take my Sharpie marker. And I'm going to give the tail some coloring. So on my puppy, his tail is going to turn a darker color at the end. So I'm going to trace a darker color and maybe give him some, some spikes. And maybe he's got a spot. And only because I used brown for my ears, am I using brown as the coloring on my tail. So now I'm going to move that aside. And I'm going to cut.
cut it out. Again, remember to cut away from yourself. And as you cut it, hold it carefully. scraps out of the way. And now that's our puppy tail. So the next thing to do is we're going to glue it on. So you're going to find where your back is. I'm going to put mine right back here. And I like to hold it up so I can see, okay, what's it going to look like when it's on? Do I want the tail laying down? Do I want it going up like he's excited? Do I want it folded back? Up to you. So now that I know where I want mine positioned, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the flat edge end. And I want mine to stick up a little bit like he's a happy puppy. And I'm just going to pinch it for a couple of seconds while that glue dries. Okay, so now we have our tail. He's very happy. Now we're going to do our face. So next, <clears throat> I'm going to open my container of googly eyes. And I have these nice big puppy eyes. Now if you don't have googly eyes, you can draw on your eyes. That's perfectly fine, that works. one eye and let's put on my other one okay I've got my eyeballs and now I'm gonna make my puppy nose And for my puppy nose, I'm gonna make kind of a soft upside down triangle. What does that mean? That means I'm gonna round the edges. I'm not gonna have it be a hard triangle. So I'm gonna start with a straight line and then I'm gonna curve the edge and come down and curve the edge and go back. So right now before I color it in, Kind of looks like an open smiley face. Now we're going to color it in. Okay, there's my puppy nose. Now for his smile, I'm going to make a line, a small line right down. And then I'll go, oh, sorry, technical difficulties, I bumped the camera, we're okay. Okay. And now we're going to make a curve this way and a curve 
this way, and that's going to be our puppy face. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make little paws. See how I have little paws there? Remember that body color paper that I told you to hang on to? Yeah, go ahead and grab that. We're going to take our marker again. And we're going to make some circles. So our first circle is going to be about that big. Maybe a little bigger. There we go. And then we're going to have four circles that go around it that are a little smaller. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to do it again. Another bigger circle. And four little circles that go around it. One, two, three, four. Okay? Great. Now we're going to put the marker down, get our scissors back, and we're going to cut these out. So now we're going to make a circle around this. This is going to be our paw. So I'm going to start a little big and then we'll make it a little smaller and a little smaller so that it all fits in our circle. Okay, so that's going to be one paw. Remember to always watch your fingers while you're cutting. my other paw. Now we're going to take some glue, put it on the back. Let's grab our puppy. And we're going to put his paws on the bottom here. And there's one paw. Let's grab the other one. Put some glue on it. Put the other one on. And there you go. You've made yourself a toilet paper puppy pet. I hope you had fun. And you can use this to make other pets. Which pet will you make? Enjoy.